Thank you for uh, viewing the Ascarel USA's demo video for our MC402 onboard scale. Um, just wanted to introduce you to the scale itself, go over a couple of the physical features of it, and then we'll go into the, uh, the operation of the scale. Um, we interviewed quite a few loader operators and plant managers, and we came up with this physical design of the 402 scale. Some of the first things you'll notice is um, the size of the screen. We have one of the largest display screens of any of the onboard scales in the marketplace. Uh, we've also incorporated a anti-glare lip into the display so that uh, early morning, late afternoons, uh, when the sun comes into the cab, the operator can simply move the scale and uh, cut down on any of that glare coming into his cab. Another feature uh, that you'll notice about our scales is the, is the keyboard. And we think this is probably the most important uh, difference between our scale and the competitor's scales. Uh, one, you'll notice that there's very few keys on this keyboard. Uh, the second, uh, you'll notice that the keys uh, have icons. This is the print button, set the loading target, begin the loading process, enter, alphanumeric keypad, zero the bucket, navigation keypad, contrast lighter, contrast darker, menu, standby. Now that we've gone over the physical layout of the scale, let's talk a little bit about the actual information that's displayed on the screen. Right now the scale is in the standby mode. You can see the distributor's name, and you can also see their technical support phone number. This will be specific to each area where the scale is installed. Now, to take the scale out of standby, we simply press the standby button, and we see our main loading page. Now that we're in the active loading page, you'll see that we have two sections. We have a data section and a loading section. In the data section, we have up to four different categories, typically their customer, delivery vehicle, product, and then also a delivery site. And then in the loading section, you'll see a source pile, you'll see the bucket symbol, and then you also see a truck that displays how much material has been moved into the truck. Now it's time for the loader operator to load a truck. He sees a truck approach his loading area, so pushes the button of a truck. Now he'll be able to start choosing his data, his customers, his vehicles, his products, and his delivery sites. So by using the navigation keys, he can scroll and choose a customer and press enter. Now he can see his truck IDs, presses enter. He sees his products, and then a delivery site. This truck is set to receive 8,000 pounds of material and we'll show you the loading activity here in just a minute. All right, now that the loader operator has all of his data selected, he knows he needs to put 8,000 pounds of material from the source pile into his truck. He goes into the load, gets a bucket of material, backs away from the pile, and on the way to the truck, he smoothly lifts his bucket, and he sees that he has 1,600 pounds in his bucket. He places that into the truck, now he goes back and gets another bucket of material. Another bucket. Now on this last bucket, we have a feature called last bucket trimming. The operator can lift a bucket of material while he's still at the source pile see how much material he has in there so that he can aim for putting exactly 1,420 pounds into his truck. We raise the bucket up and we pause part way. We'll hear a tone and we'll see that we've got 2,800 pounds in the bucket. We can simply shake off the excess material, lower the bucket back away from the pile and go ahead raise the bucket up and put it into the truck. Now it's beeping rapidly at us because if we put that 1450 into the truck, we'll have 8,030 pounds and that will actually exceed our original target of 8,000 pounds. 30 pounds is not anything to be concerned about. The truck driver goes ahead and puts that in and we're all done. 
Now that the loading is complete, if the customer has chosen uh, the optional printer, loader operator can hit print. And here on the ticket, you can see date, a timestamp, a ticket number, the four data categories that the loader operator entered, what the original target amount was, what was actually placed into the truck, and how many buckets it took to complete the load. Now, on, um, on this ticket, it is optional to put full uh, quarry information here, and you can also put footer information here. Uh, some quarries will put a signature line here at the bottom, and then they'll have their name, address, phone number, contact info up at the top. All of the Ascarel scales have several different modes of bucket cancellation. Uh, the bucket can be canceled automatically if the scale senses that the bucket was not placed into the truck, or uh, we can have a manual cancellation. Raise our bucket up. And say if we did not want that bucket to actually be placed into the truck, we can press C. Here we have a choice of canceling the entire bucket or doing a bucket subtraction. In this case, we're going to do a full bucket cancellation. Now, if we had canceled that bucket accidentally, we would be able to recall that bucket simply by pressing the C key again. Another key feature with the uh, Ascarel scales is a partial bucket subtraction. In the case of loading a vehicle more by volume, then by weight, a loader operator can put several full buckets into the vehicle and then on the last bucket just put part of that bucket into the vehicle. When he does that he can dump part of the material into the truck and then lower the bucket and then choose partial bucket subtraction. I'll show you how that works here. C, partial bucket subtraction, and we can see that the scale senses that there's still 1,900 pounds in the bucket, and that's what it's going to subtract out. To ensure the most accurate and consistent uh, results from any scale, uh, an empty bucket needs to truly read zero. Various factors can affect uh, the weight of an empty bucket. It can be uh, viscosity of the hydraulic oil, it can be lubrication of the loader's pins, but more often than not it's simply excess material is, is packing into the corners of the bucket and that material is remaining from bucket to bucket. So periodically the operator will be prompted to raise an empty bucket and see if it reads zero. In this case, we see that there's 30 pounds registering for an empty bucket. That 30 pounds will be added to every bucket load um, and it will skew the total that's being placed into the truck. So what the operator can do is lower his bucket and then press the tear key in the bottom left hand corner of his screen, raises his bucket. Scale says that it's been zeroed, and he's good to go. And a very important feature of the MC402 is data transfer. After the loader operator has entered in these four data points and completed his loading, at the end of the day, week, month, whatever interval the plant manager determines is, uh, is adequate, you can simply insert a USB key and all of the data, along with a timestamp for every bucket lifted, will transfer onto the USB key. Ascarel USA provides the data transfer software at no additional charge with every MC402. Thank you for viewing the Ascarel USA demo video of our MC402 system. If you have any questions, please call us at 877-717-2253 and we'll be available to answer any of your questions regarding our scale systems and your specific application.